awesome. This is the first word tournament I entered. I think this is the first one, maybe the second, but this is the first one that um, I think I struggle the most at. And the reason why it was so difficult for me and the reason why I am making this video, um, I had a stroke because I was in a doctor's office and I went in for a routine appointment and to have my pain pump refilled and a nurse his name is John Mendelson at my pain management doctor's office and he's a jackass he's a jerk he wouldn't listen to me and he wouldn't stop doing the refill when I expressed that I had I felt something different and I said it three times and he brushed me off and he said oh that's the number the number I gave you which is the numbing little shot they give you which does not feel like um any type of water pouring in your body which is what I expressed I felt and um I ended up being overdosed and the overdose caused a stroke um they are saying that I didn't have a stroke, but from the moment I woke up, I knew something was different because I couldn't speak the way that I normally did. And I used to make speeches, you know, like speak before a lot of people and do speaking engagements. I was invited to go different places, which I still volunteer and stuff, but it's nothing like the level that I used to do. And so I struggle with words. And in some of the videos, you may notice that I, I struggle with words. And I might use the same word over and over. I'm almost in tears because this is kind of emotional. Um, you don't know how hard this was for me to finish this tournament. Um, when I first noticed it, it was early, early this morning. And it was like seven hours and something to go. And I thought, wow, okay, you know, and it was in the wee hours. So I, um, well, it was early. And so I was up and I did about three or four puzzles and then I got tired and I figured, well, I can take a nap. And, you know, if I take a nap, then, you know, I still have seven hours, you know, or six or five hours, whatever. So I figured you can just jump back in. So I moved up to maybe about eighth or sixth place or something. And then I put the phone down and I watched a movie and I took a nap. And when I woke up again, there was maybe, well, barely two hours left. And I did a few puzzles, and then I stopped again. I put the phone back down, and I'm like, yeah, you know. And sometimes if I struggle too long um, on a puzzle, I would just put it down. Because if I try too hard to figure out words, I just I get really, really frustrated. And it doesn't do me any good because then my brain just kind of stops. And it just kind of sits there and, like... I'm just so, I'm angry now, I'm mad because I can't think of the words. So I think a puzzle just about at the la the wire, like uh, 30, 30 minutes and under, there was a puzzle that had the word B in it. And I think it was B-E-E, -E. it was a three-letter word. And I think I struggled more with the three-letter words than I did the larger words. That is so funny. Um, but anyone that has had a stroke, I don't know if you, that part of your brain, the I don't know what part of the brain ha, is affected when it's numbers, words, names, um, you know, like I can, I can recall a situation, I can recall a story, or I can recall an event, but I can't tell you when it happened, or the time, or the month, the date. Um, people who are closest to me, 
best friends, family members who are my favorite cousins and just favorite people that I have loved for years and years and years. I can't remember their names to look them up in my contacts to call them. And I have to start at the A's and scroll through until I see a name that jumps out at me and I'm like, okay, that's the person's name. And so that's the part of my brain that was affected. And playing puzzles like this and and joining in this tournament meant so much because I placed second. And to anybody else, it probably didn't mean that much. But for me, it meant a lot. I didn't have anybody to share this with, so I'm just making a video. And um, I hope everybody's having a fantastic Sunday. And I wish that jackass of a nurse would not have overdosed me. And I wish he would not have lied. And I wish he would not have lied because I respected him more when he came to my room. He came to my room after they transferred me from ICU to the other part of the hospital and he came to my room three times and before they made him stop and he apologized he always came to my room and and he was like he looked almost suicidal he looked so upset and like he had been crying all night and he always came to my room first thing in the morning when he was actually going to work and so he would come up to my room. It looked like he was coming up straight from his car or metro or whatever. And he had his belongings with him and and stuff. And he'd come to my room and, and he'd just stand there. And he'd say he was so sorry. And he was so sad. And I told him how much I was worried about him. And I actually feel stupid because John Mendelssohn, I actually felt bad for him because... I felt like he really, really cared. But when he started lying and when the hospital began to, everybody just kind of like, it's it's what they call, what's that, that, that word, um, CYA, cover your ass. And then he started pretending he didn't say stuff he said. And I don't know what he told my doctor. I'm getting choked up and my throat is getting tight, so I've got to stop talking now. But, um, well, anyway, bye.